So how would you mentally prepare yourself to talk to a non-vegan about veganism? So I think the first thing you want to do is learn all the anti-vegan debunks and then soon after forget them. And what I mean by that is forget that you've heard them a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand times, whatever. Try to hear them as if you're hearing them again for the first time and meet them with curiosity rather than a comeback. So for instance, if someone says, you know, well, I think plants feel pain, it's very easy to just shoot off and be like, oh, so you think cutting a cucumber is the same as cutting a pig's throat? But I think if instead of acting like you've heard it a thousand times and just kind of doing that call response, if instead you, you kind of feel like you're hearing it for the first time, that will help you be curious. And then being curious will help you ask questions. So if someone says, you know, I think plants feel pain, you could say, oh, interesting, why do you think that? Like, and what do you mean? They say, well, you know, I saw this Joe Rogan episode and he said it and blah, blah, blah. And you say, okay, so you think that plants feel pain. And I assume you think that's bad that they feel pain. And they're like, yeah, I do think that's bad. Okay, so I assume pain is bad in general, like if humans, if pigs, if plants feel pain, that's all bad. Yeah, okay, well, okay, well, what do animals eat? Well, I don't know, what do they mostly eat? I, I guess, uh, I don't know, plants? Yeah, exactly. Okay, and then we go from there, right? And so there you could sort of led them to the conclusion that even based on their own paradigm of plants feeling pain and them not wanting plants to feel pain, you sort of led them to veganism without kind of just like doing this simple call response thing. And so now you've sort of engaged your empathy, you've engaged your curiosity. They're feeling like they're actually having a genuine human conversation rather than just an argument with some like AI chat bot or something. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I found a lot in my experience, I do this especially on Twitter when someone makes a claim, I just ask them to elaborate. Mm -hmm. And then I find a lot of the time that they won't. And, and I think <laughs> part, of them, part of them knows, oh, I don't actually know why I think this or how to explain this. Yep. And I, I think that's quite a powerful thing in and of itself to just kind of show someone that you're making claims and you're believing things that you don't even know how to substantiate. So that's a problem, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. I've been there. I've, I've done a bit of both a thousand times. And yeah, it, it, it does become very difficult to acknowledge that you are speaking to a different person than you've spoken to you know, a thousand times. So yeah, I think that's a good kind of idea to learn them then forget them. I found that when I just kind of give the rebuttal and it's ready, I've kind of gone to say the thing before they've even finished. And then it's become like two people talking at each other rather than like maybe getting somewhere and working with the, the cognitive responses. I think there's probably more effectiveness in that as much as I really just want to go really so in a burning building you'd look at a pot plant and a dog and you'd be like oh god I, I really don't know who to pick <laughs> I just want to like gouge my eyes out at that point however yeah I, I think I think you're right that probably really helped them come to terms with why they believe that and thinking logically about things it extends far pa past veganism so it's really important when we have these conversations to be really asking someone where the hell this nonsense came from in a nice way of course yeah <laughs>